Hey guys, welcome to tutorial two, week two. Uh, today, we're gonna to be focusing on some quick feet uh, and some ball handling skills. So receiving and taking the ball away. We're also gonna be focusing on some turning with the ball. So lots of different ways that we can turn with the ball uh, using all parts of our feet. And I'll show you as well a way that we might be able to turn and get away from that defender without touching the ball at all. Okay, so have a look at the exercises. Again, try them in your own time. Have a look to see if you can perform for the advanced players, the skills even for the beginners that we're doing at a very quick pace, because the key is now being able to do these skills or exercises um, with speed and precision. Okay, so welcome. As I said today, we're gonna to be working on some quick ball handling and being able to shift that ball left and right. There's many different ways that we can look at it. Um, we can look at it back to goal, which I'll show you in the next exercise. We can look at it frontal like this and side on. Um, but we're just looking and trying to really concentrate on moving that ball as quick as possible. Some will be with one touch, others will be controlling the ball first. So the first exercise I want all players to work on it's just a simple play against the wall. You're receiving and you're taking with the opposite foot. Okay, so I'm playing the ball in with my right. I'm on my toes, I'm nice and bright. Playing the ball in, controlling, and then taking with the inside of my foot around that cone. Again, looking and really concentrating on a good first touch, good control, and then we're shifting that ball with the other foot. So. It's going to be pass, control, take. The more comfortable you feel, the better you become, then the quicker you start to do these exercises. I'm going to show you slow first what we're going to do, and then I'll speed it right up. This will be the first one. On our toes, play, control, take. Round the cone, and back again. So play, control, take. You can vary the distance of this cone to incorporate some running with the ball, or you can put some more cones in between there to incorporate some dribbling with the ball. You might even put a ball at the end, all right? If you do, make sure you've got a healthy amount of balls so that you can play, control, dribble, shoot, and then you come back and repeat. Depending on your setup at home that you have. So, we've played control, taking that ball. Now we're gonna look at it a little bit quicker. For the advanced players, these are the speeds that we're looking at. Again, nice pass in, good control, Quick feet when we're taking the ball away. Nice turn on that cone, either inside or outside of your foot. Use both. Go, play, touch, and we go. Go again, here I am. Toes, play, touch, take. On my foot, one more time, on my toes. And rest. So really looking for that. Nice control, quick feet taking that ball away. Okay, obviously spin around, but now we're using left to pass, left to control, right to pass. Second exercise we're gonna bring in today for our ball handling and controlling is, I want you to imagine you're standing side on, your teammates over there and in front of you, um, probably won't be behind you, otherwise you change your body position. So imagine they're either level with you or in front, and they're playing the ball in. So that's the kind of pass or scenario we're looking at in the game. The ball is coming in. We're using the rebounder here, or the wall uh, garden bed, to play the ball back in. So we're receiving a pass. There's the receive. Now I'm taking it away. So that's what this scenario is in here. It's always important to remember where on the field I'm doing it, or how it might look in the game. Right, so try and tie it always back into a realistic game scenario so that you understand um, uh, uh, how you're doing it, why you're doing it, where. Uh, really important to remember that. Okay, so the second exercise will be for the beginners. Again, on our toe, playing the ball in, controlling, taking with the outside of our foot. Again, nice and relaxed to begin with, technique first, and then try and speed it up. So beginners, here we go again, on my toes, play, receive, take. Nice and sharp around the cone. And we go again. Back 
kick in. Okay? Again, remember, really focus on the technique. Good feet, so the ball handling, the way you can control the ball and move the ball, you want to all the time try and speed that up. All right? For the advanced players, what I want you to focus on here now is doing that first part really well. Then once you do that, I want you to move on to keeping this foot or this leg in the air. So that'll look like this. And we've done it before in the beat the player moves, but it's a great way to shift that ball super quick. So we're playing the ball in, we're controlling, it stays in the air, let's take it away. Let's have a look now what it looks like a little bit quicker. So we're on our toes. Play, control, take. On our toes, play, control, take. So you can see that pass there, I didn't have enough weight on it. So I really want to challenge myself, get that pass coming back in super quick. Touch, move. Here we go. Not quick enough, here we go. There, touch, press. One more time, here we go. And always make sure that you're on your toes, try and challenge yourself with the way that pass in here. Alright? Okay, so two more exercises. Again, for players of all abilities, the only difference will be the speed and precision of which you're performing the skill. Okay? Some of you may know these ones or some may not but again it's just something that you want to try and bring into your training bring into your imagination and ultimately when we go back bring into your games okay so the scenario still remains the same i'm either receiving the ball front from one of my teammates in front of me or side on okay all we're going to be doing here is looking to drag that ball so i can turn and face that way I'm going to use the garden bench, uh, edge again, just to play the ball in. Then I'm going to use my studs to be able to turn and face that way again. So I'll play it in, I'll turn, I'll go back around the little cone, and I'll come and do it again. So we'll start off nice and slow, and then we'll try and speed it up. So all we're doing on our toes again, playing the ball in, and using my toes to turn. These studs, I should say. So play the ball in again, there it is. So the key for this one here is, we're using our studs to grab this ball and face the way I now want to run, which is that way. So your studs are grabbing that ball, you're turning with your body, you're opening up, to then be able to run that way, all right? So again, I'm side on, I've received the ball, I want to turn that way. So here we go, play, turn, and I'll go. Again, I'm on my toes. My toes again, play, grab, and turn. All right, so in this here, you'll also see some of the ball mastery skills that we work on in between the cones. So I'm grabbing the ball back, taking it across. There, there. There. So here's where you'll be able to use it in a game situation to turn. So we'll just play it in, grabbing it and going. Really making sure you're grabbing it with your studs. There, turn, there go. The last exercise I want to show you for this component of the tutorial um, is just a little shimmy or a jink. Okay, so remember we've always spoken about but sometimes you don't have to touch the ball to be able to create some room for yourself or to be the defender. So that's really important to try and bring into your game as well. Lots of different ways to trick opponents or put some doubts in their mind. So again, I want to paint the picture again. The ball's being played across into me. The defender's going to be in front of me. 
I want to put some doubt in this defender's mind here. So here's my defender. The ball gets played in. As the ball's travelling towards me, I'm going to jink or shimmy back the way that the ball's coming from. Because I want to put in this player's mind that I'm going back that way. But at the last second, I'm taking the ball back this way, the way it was travelling. So play, jink, and go. Obviously, you need to be careful that this guy's not too close. All right, so we're playing, jinking, and we're travelling. All, right. All it will take is just for that defender to really buy into your body movement that you're running there, and then you're taking the ball away. So it's just a little shimmy or a little jink without touching the ball to get rid of this defender. So this is something you can practice with a parent or a brother, uh, a sister, and just try and get them to put a little bit of pressure and not jink. When you're taking this ball, you can either take it inside of your left or outside of your right. So I'll use both now. There it is. Jump. Take it inside. Obviously, with these, um, uh, with this particular skill and all the other ones as well, you're using left and right. So just turn yourself around, play, give. Okay? Uh, again, this particular one, you're gonna have to decide where and when you use it, but again, bring it into your game, try it. So for an extra challenge for the uh, advanced players, we're gonna look at a different way of turning or manipulating that ball in order for me to face my body that way. So the first one, we've played the ball in, and we look to turn with our stunt. Okay? Great way of turning. Enables you to be able to do it quick. But this one here, we're looking to turn now with the inside of our foot. So just to begin with, I want you to take that speed off that ball and turn with it. So you're using that speed to your advantage now to turn. So it look like this. I'll do it nice and slow. And this is how you can really just try and bring this skill into your game by trying to perform the ball, this skill by bringing the ball right across. So I'll have a look, show up the trot here, there. So it's almost that the ball is glued just to the inside of my foot. So I'm trying to take that pace off it and drag it around. Here we go, there. So a little bit more off the feet um, will be required for this one. It's a bit more of a challenge, but again, great for the advanced players. Different way of turning with that ball, especially if it gets fired in super quick. There. A good way to see if you're actually doing it is to see if you can scoop the ball and turn all the way around. And then we'll have a look, there it is. can spin with that ball on your foot and then you know you're on the right track. So I'll have a look now, quick, if I can play it in, inside of my foot, turn and face to go the way I want. And then my toes, get it to the back, my toes. So really light touch, light feet on my toes. So no studs at all in here, just the inside of my foot. I'm using that pace to my advantage. Here we go. Whoop. Five. That there you're also looking to use with your left foot. Ball comes in, to guiding that ball. Okay, so for the last turn that we're going to be working on today, if you haven't got a mannequin, no problem at all. Just use a disc, use a pole if you have one, use a little witch's hat, it doesn't matter. You just want to imagine that there's a defender behind you, okay? So, the obvious difference here is I'm now not standing side on like I was in the first exercises. I'm now 
facing the opposite way in which I want to go. So I'm facing this way, but I want to be able to turn with the ball and go that way. While he's a defender on me, or while I'm imagining he's a defender on me. So again, using something that's going to be able to play you the ball in, it might be uh, uh, someone to help you. If not, use the ball. I'll bring my little defender in a little bit closer. So, again, defender's here. We want to try and be side on all the time. So remember in one of the live sessions I was talking about shielding the ball. We want to be having our body in between the defender and the ball as much as possible when we can. All right, so I'm still facing the wrong way here, but I've got my body positioned side on with the defender here and the ball here. Okay? So, the ball gets played in. For the beginners, I want you to control and turn using again left and right, inside and outside of your feet. So here's my defender, he doesn't get blown away. Oh. So here we go, the beginners play the ball in, control, take the ball away. Now you might have a goal there to shoot, you might have some more cones to dribble through. Or you might even have someone be able to play you the ball back on the other side of the defender. So again, let's have a little look closer now, a little bit quicker. Beginners, we're playing, controlling and taking. So again, the other side. Have a look now, a little bit quicker. There it is. Control, take. Always making sure that you're trying to be side on when you receive it. Don't try and stand flat, try and receive side on. There may be times where you get caught like this, but that's okay. You just got to try and protect the ball and move it left and right. Always remembering that we're trying not to turn back into feet. One more time for the beginners, run our toes. We want to go that way, we're facing the wrong way. Play the ball in, control and turn. Right, so that's beginners. Advanced players, and there's nothing wrong with the beginners trying this as well. Advanced players, all you're trying to do now is play the ball in nice and firm so it comes back quicker. And we're looking to turn in one. Okay, so again, there's the ball. Defender, here's the ball, got heavy pressure, ball gets played in, can I turn? So it's just a little turn and roll away from that defender. All the while, you're trying to feel. So don't be afraid to get your arms out and try and feel. You've got to get used to feeling where that defender is, advanced players, and also beginning players. Okay, so don't be afraid to have your arms out because that's giving you the ability to try and feel where they are. So you might feel them here. Then you're going to go that side. If you feel them here, then you're going to go that side. But for the time being, you're going to practice both sides. So there was an outside the right foot turn. Play the ball in. Up. There's an inside the right foot turn. So advanced players, you're turning in one touch. That's what we're looking for in here. One touch. Inside and outside of both feet. If you have a rebounder, then you might throw the ball in on a rebounder and it comes in on your chest and you're turning with one. Comes in on your knee, you're turning. Comes in on the outside, you're turning. So you're looking to turn now in one touch with a decent uh, paced ball that's, that's getting played in. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, my top tip of the day um, is, again, just to be creative. So I've got a mannequin that I'm using. You don't have to have one. There's, there's absolutely no need to have one. If you've got something there that helps you realize or helps you paint the picture that you've got a defender behind you then use it. it can be a cone as i said can be a witch's hat can be anything if you have um, willing participants to help you and they don't have to be able to play uh, football, but just to get them to throw the ball into you that's great for you to be able to try and practice these different exercises at different flights different speeds which is going to be really important uh, uh, for your touches on the ball. Uh, also remember, this session is about ball handling. So 
to how quick can we control and move the ball. How quick can we move that ball left to right, okay? Always remembering what kind of scenario you're using that in a game. You really gotta understand where you're trying to use these skills and where the defender might be. All right? So be creative in your mind, use your imagination, uh, and good luck.